Hey everyone, it's Diane from Deco Easy and welcome to another video of me and my mother-in-law Jenny. We are both from the Netherlands and we have some more Christmas in July for you today. Because we couldn't get enough of the Christmas in July DIYs, uh, we have some new ones for you. Let's jump in and start crafting. Now I want to make this. This found uh, this what I found on Pinterest. Snowflakes made out of clothespins. Let's see if I can make something this uh, on my own. Maybe in a different color, maybe in white. I don't know yet, but anyway, let's start crafting. To start, you need clothespins. Uh, take them apart. Just removing the metal here. And what I'm going to do next, get my glue gun glue them together like this and that's what I'm going to do with several of them so yeah good idea to do this with your kids only watch out with the hot glue gun then just really easy to make actually and you can decorate them totally in the way you want it with glitter with uh, fancy colors choose it your way and I think this looks really cute in a classic Christmas tree but you can also make glam ones that is totally up to you. Okay, I've unmetalled all the clothespins. Uh, you can take Mod Podge or other glue. I want to use hot glue. Just don't add too much here because if you push it together, then everything goes aside and that's not what you want. So just use a little bit hot glue. I'll be off to my hot glue gun uh, and I will show you the result, how this becomes a beautiful star. Here we are back again together with parts of the star. Now what you need to do, put them together like this, then glue them in the center and put some there and two here and glue everything together and then you have your star. Well, and if you glue all the parts together this is what you get. I think they're super cute yet. It really reminds me actually of a crotched coaster my grandma used to have upon the table. Um, now it's time to pimp them some a little bit more with a really cute color. The next step is painting the stars. I'm going to use white chalk paint and that also have gray. Well the package is different but I think it's the same paint because they come from the same shop. Uh, so yeah, just start painting now. Okay, start off with the gray, shake it well. I'm just pouring some paint upon um, actually the star. And then just start brushing it away. Don't forget to get between the spikes of the star really well to cover it up. And then you get a really nice color. Well, both stars are dry and painted. Now, I think I know how I want to decorate the gray one. I have here branches with cotton buds upon them. You can take those buds off and then the only thing you have here is a little brown grayish part which you can paint and then glue it like this then you get some sort of snowflake effect so I think that's what I'm going to do right now carefully take them off and then paint this part here but do it carefully don't add too much because then you ruin the whole thing well and then attach it just with some hot glue and then you are there Yay, the cotton buds are painted gray now, at least the ooh, the bottom part is. As you can see, I didn't paint it completely because then it would look really harsh. You know, uh, from going from dark gray to, you know, clearly white, that would be, yeah, not so natural, I think. So I left a little, little bit of brown beside the edges. Now I'm going to heat up the glue gum. And then I will be, uh, you know, gluing all the buds to the points of the star. Well, here we go. I have my glue gun here. I hope there is still enough glue in it. 
Yeah, I think it is. Now, pour some glue on the dot. And then put it there. Sorry, just like this. Hold it just for a few seconds, otherwise it might fall off. And there you are. Now repeat the other steps too. Pour some glue. Don't use too much because then it will spill over the edges of your star. This is okay. And then you can see you working around just like so. Let's see, you're all done with your star. Okay, almost there. The last one is being added now. This looks super cute. Now, as I'm seeing the star, I th still think that there's missing something. I want a cotton butt here in the middle. So I managed to take one off without ruining the whole thing. There's still a dot of glue here. I hope you can see it. Here you see a little bit of shiny part. That is where it came from, you know, the plastic part. So I'll be putting some glue upon the already glued part and then pushing it here in the center. Look, I think this looks much more beautiful. We can make the whole thing a little bit more Christmassy with adding these red berries to it. Just carefully pull them off the branch like so. And let me see what is the top section. This one is, so I'm not going to place a berry here, I think. But only here. Because through that hole I want to oh, add a little thread so we can hang it up. Let me first get off some more. Um, here as well. I believe I need seven of them. Let me count. Just leave them here. Maybe a little bit more to the top is also nice. No, I really want to cover up that hole. Three, four, five, six. And another one here, then we're done. Now it looks like they're in a square. That looks a bit weird. Let me rearrange it through here. Is it better now or does it still look squarey? Yeah, it still does a little bit. But it is better than it was. So I think I'm going to glue them here. Which is move around this one here, this one here, these on the outer part, and then this one on the inside again. Yeah, I think that is the best idea. Okay, gonna wrap some glue from the glue gun again. Just a tiny little bit is enough. And then press it carefully to the place where you want it to have. First going to do the ones that will be on the inside part. Oh, a lot of glue coming with me. Go away. And this one too. Yeah, glue gun is losing quite some glue today. Remove the thread. No. Let's do the other ones. Almost got glue upon my fingers. <laughs> Don't want that to happen. 
I don't think here is the right place for him to stay. And then continue with the rest. Time to make a string to this one here so we can attach it. I have some white thread uh, because I think that is the best one that I have at home to come up with. Well, I think this is more than long enough. I also had a gray color, but that one was way lighter than this gray is. Now I'm taking just a big needle. Put the thread to it. Now I'm sticking the needle in here. And I hope that that will work out. Yes, it goes through. Yeah. Now pull in one string, not on the other. Holding the other one while I'm pulling the one that I want to come through. And I can remove the needle. there. Let me check if it is in the center. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Put the wrong, wrong part Put from here. Now making just a tiny knot in there. To make sure that it doesn't get rid of the star anymore. Come on. Why does this always go so difficult when I'm doing it in front of the camera? And when I tie my shoelaces, for example, that will work out instantly. Okay. Check now. I have a thread to hang up the whole thing, and now I can glue a berry here. So we have berries everywhere. Here it is, completely with the thread and the new berry. But you first, of course, gotta add the thread before you can add the berry. Otherwise, you know, I'm gluing the uh, uh, the wood and the thread at the same time while adding the berry, so the thread isn't able to move anymore. And make sure that the thread is long enough, so you can always cut it smaller if you want to. But I think this one is finished. Time to give the white one some more transformation. Okay, time to decorate the white star. Therefore, I want to add some uh, berries. I think one. I already cut off the largest one from the branch. And I also have several branches of Christmas greenery. They contain glitter. If you can see it, well, this one contains a lot. There you see it glittering. Uh, and I want to add, you know, some parts of green around here, around the berry in the center. So I'm first going to glue the berry here. Um, and after everything is in the right place, I want to add some silver glitter spray to finish the whole thing off in a really nice and glam Christmas look. Okay, the first step is to add this berry into the center here of the star. So I'm going to pour some hot glue over the berry. And then place it just right here. And let it dry very well before I start adding... Oh, it already looks pretty now. <laughs> uh, let me see, what do I want as a top section? I'll take this part here. Uh, now I'm going to take a look how much greenery I want to add around because I think this whole branch at once is a little bit too much. Well, maybe... On the sides it looks okay. So one here. And I think the other one here to cut off the back parts. Something like this looks nice. And then we want to add... Yeah, this is just too large, I think. Just cutting off some more pieces. Some smaller ones. How does this look here on the bottom? Yeah, I think that looks cute. Do I want to add some 
here the northern it, then you don't see that it's a star anymore well let me first glue these three so just I think I glue this whole part here oh, then I have to hold it on the side branch of course without gluing my fingers there we have it carefully move it into place I'm not using a pair of scissors to press the whole thing into the right place so I don't burn my fingers. Well, there we go. I'm trying to do the other one then. Oh, don't hold the large one. Okay, cool. Now this one here needs to be done too. Not too much glue because this is a really small branch. I'm just placing it here. To have some greenery to fit in there. I think that looks cute and natural, but I think I'm going to glue directly upon the star. Because then is it easier for me to oh, it's be quick of course at those branches here. One here and one there. And I can use the scissors to gently press it a little bit more inwards. There we have it. Remove those spider webs of glue that are everywhere. I think it is already really nice, but it still misses something here on the top. So, yeah, let me figure how, out how I can solve it the best before adding the thread here. Or maybe I have to add the thread first. I think that will do the trick. Yeah, that's just what I'm going to do. Add the thread first, on the same way as I did on the gray one, and then gluing some uh, greenery over there. We have a thread. Let's put it into the place where we want it. And then just cut off some greenery here. I think that is exactly the same branch. Yes, it is. Okay, hold the thread really well, and then adding some glue upon the other branch. Carefully add it into the right place while pressing with the scissors. Yeah, I think that looks so cute. Okay, time to add some glitter spray. This is a spray that I'll be using, just silver glitter spray. And the good thing is that this thing now has a thread. So I'm just going to hold it and then spray, you know, also the back part full of glitter. Okay, I will have the flashlight of my camera here. But I hope you can see it. There is a lot of glitter upon it now. The camera doesn't focus that well. I will show you later. But anyway, there is a stuffed out layer of silver glitter around the whole thing. Let me move the camera up and down. Can you see it now? Nope. Okay, then I will show you later because this thing first has to dry. Okay, time to move over to another Christmas DIY. This one will be really easy to make with your kids or maybe your grandchildren. What you need an empty egg carton, white paint, I'll use acrylic one, a brush to paint with, and well depending on the material of your cardboard use a knife or a pair of scissors. And I have my sewing kit here because I need some buttons. Okay first let us remove the top part of the egg carton, we don't need that. 
So you can just cut it off. This box is made out of paper, but I've also seen some egg cartons that are more, you know, plastic or even one made out of grass. Okay, this flap here can also be removed. Now what I want to do is cut out, you know, the holders where the eggs have been into. Because I want to make a snowman out of that. So this might be useful for later use. I think I have to get rid of these parts. I hope that I can cut them up easily. Oh, that goes pretty easy. That makes a lot of noise. I don't know why. Okay, now cut out all these holes because we're going to need them for something different. Be careful, don't cut yourself. This material is super stubborn. Well, maybe the knife is a better option today. Yeah, that will do the trick. Carefully cut out. boxes where the eggs are laying into. What is this? Yeah, there we go. Now also do this one. Oops. Well, this material is super tough. I didn't expect it to be, to be honest. You see me getting angry at an egg box. Okay, make also sure that you remove the rough parts so you cut these off too. So you only have the round part left, no flattened part. Okay, and you continue to do this with all of the holders. So I think cutting with the knife is a better idea. Make it a little bit longer. Because my cut is so much cleaner when I do it with a knife. But as I said, that depends on the material your cardboard or your egg box is made of. Not everything is the same or works the same. We take them apart. This thing tears up so easily. And on some other parts it is super tough to get through it. How weird. Okay, and then just remove these outer parts here. Okay, I'm done cutting. I have only a little bit of a problem. My uh, cardboard or uh, egg boxes aren't apparently the same as they make them in uh, the United States because mine have a little bit of different shape. You, in every cup you find this uh, shape. So yeah, that's a bit of a disappointment but I think I can fix that um, by placing it just like this. So this will be the front and I only have gaps here and here, yeah, and this is the bag, but that one is ugly, so we're not one to show that. Only this and that. And for these uh, parts, I have a solution, but first I want to glue these items together. So what I'm going to do, I have cut out a small piece of cardboard or box. I'm going to place that in there. So just gently press it, and then I can put glue on there and put that one on top so that you get, you know, a little bit of a stacked snowman idea in this way. So I'll be just uh, in the kitchen hot gluing and then I will be back when everything is glued and sold together. Okay, we're in the kitchen. I glued them together. Um, yeah, I'm still not super happy with the size. But I think I have a solution to fill up the gaps here and here. I'm just going to add some hot glue there. And uh, because I also need to paint them white, of course, because that's the color of snowman. Um, then it looks like the snow is a little bit melting. 
and in that way I hope I can also work away the uh, holes and so, uh, and so ever here and there uh, but at least on these parts I think I'm going to add some hot glue this was my idea adding, adding a lot of glue between the layers of the egg cartons and I also have a solution to fix up these empty parts here I'm going to grab myself some branches, glue them in and add a whole lot of hot glue on top so it looks like a nice solid round look here I have some branches and it is about this particular part here that I want to cut off here and then I can add them as hands to the snowman here they are so far now I really have to wait until the glue is dry because otherwise I think the branches fall off again so I'll be back when the glue is dry and when we can start painting it's paint time so I'm just going to pour a little bit of paint into this leftover cup here and I I also picked myself a smaller pencil so that I can easily, you know, get between here and these edges. I'm just going to start. I'm going to be able to hold it like this. Yes, okay. I'm going to start here around the arms of the snowman. Hopefully. I can easily paint every part around because that is a little bit of a challenge. But it works, okay. Now just make sure that you cover up everything in white. And then you can continue with decorating the snowman. Well, as you can see, the base of the snowman is pretty dry now. I'm pretty much done. Time to finish it off. The only thing I want to do now is make the faces and also add two buttons on each snowman for the body. And here they are with their buttons. I just took two separate colors because I think that is really cheerful. But you can also use black, of course, if you want to. Now it's time to give the snowman a cute tiny face and therefore I'll be using this glass marker here because it has a really fine tip but you can also use uh, you know permanent marker or something like that and after the face is drawn it is time to take a piece of paper and I'm going to color an orange nose out of um, how do you call that oh yeah a carrot an orange carrot nose and I'm going to glue it on top of his face so that's what I'm going to do next Ta-da! Here they are, the two snowmen made out of an egg carton. I've just added uh, a face and a mouth, or eyes and a mouth, with uh, the marker. And I added a piece of orange paper as the nose. So, yeah, that is basically it. Let us know in the comment section what you think of this DIY. And here they are, the Christmas DIYs. Uh, I was inspired by Pinterest and I think they really turned out cute. I remember that I should show you the glitter upon this star, but it is really hard to see, I believe. Let me zoom in here on the wood. Yeah, now you can see it. Look the glitter upon the wooden parts of the star. And yeah, let us know what is your favorite one. Write it down in the comment section and we hope that we could inspire you with these DIYs. We hope you had fun watching. Uh, if you have questions, suggestions, anything else you'd like to tell us, please write it down in the comment section below and we would love to read your reactions. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in our next video. Bye everyone!
right, we hope you had a good time on this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give us a big like and leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you have questions, suggestions, anything else you come up with you want to write down, please don't hesitate. We were so happy if you uh, leave a comment for us and uh, yeah, let us know what you think. Which one is your favorite DIY? Also let us know and we hope to see you back again in our next video. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye everyone!